All right, I'm going to do a couple of tools, just a silly tutorial, sim simple tutorial on a couple of tools. I just actually came across a couple of funny files you want to show. Check my IP. Check what I did, the FBI website. All right, anyway. Um, <clears throat> okay, I've got hack samples. Where is it? There we go. Music of these. Okay, um, I'll start with bulk file changer. Now you can change time and date to execute commands on selected files. Let's just get a copy of, let's just say my, my game. Which is my game. Okay, we'll take my game and we'll install it into bulk file changer. Actions, change time data attributes. Now this is a file created, modified access. What have we changed, created and modified? Let's make it to the year 1800 in the Wild West. Computer software made in the Wild West. Do it. All right, let's, that, should, that should have worked. If we right click it, properties, there we go, look, created in the year 1800, modified in the year 1800. Sometimes there can be a funny little Easter egg to put in something. See if anyone picks up on it and notices it and then I'll have a laugh at it. Anyway, um, there's actually potential harm that you can actually do with that. Um, if you have a court case and you have uh, documents, files that have dates that are, imp that are imp timely important and um, you edit that and you can you can actually fraudulently edit evidence and it can actually, you know, be a bad thing. Um, I'm not sure these days uh, how relevant it is with file dates. It, it can actually be important in some certain areas, but I'm not sure actually these days how important it can be, how trustworthy they consider it, but it can still, it's still a factor anyway. Um, all right, what next? Um, vault file changer, hex edit, you know, you can do, hex edit can be confusing to use, you need to know what you're looking for, now you open the file in hex edit, you got all these codes and you got all this stuff here, now as you see look, this program is run in DOS mode, you, you can pick up some, if you look through it, if you, if you could actually, you can actually search for different things if you know what you're looking for, you read this code and you pick stuff up, you can actually edit things, uh, remove things, change things, um, add things, but you have to be careful, like, let's just say this program can run, I can't just, see, it's operation change the file, if I delete that, it's, and save it, it's fucked, well, see all these dots, you actually have to replace everything that you, you edit, you, just copy this, and go, That's the way, yeah, that's the way to do it. Just replace it with dots if you want to edit anything. And you have to be, a lot of trial and error, you don't know what you're, what the result's gonna be, you have to be careful, but try and do that. Try and replace everything that you want to delete, replace with dots. So let's, let's close that. Oh, what else I was gonna show? Resource Hacker, now this thing's cool. I'll use, no, not that. Um, my programs. There we go. We'll go boss because that hasn't even added to the image. Now, you can edit a lot of shit in this. There's all kinds of shit you have to know what to look for. And you can edit all menu items and all kinds of stuff. Now, I'll give you an example. Let's go to my programs and game. Now, if I click game, right click. Now I've actually disabled the menu, as I said in a previous tutorial, you can disable the flash menu in EXEs. Oh, I can't click that. Right, so this menu here, you can't delete, it's built in. Or so you would believe. Well, by, I've edited my logo gen, look, look what I've done to my logo gen. It's different, I've made my own menu. Print. And about, and I've made my own about section. There's a link to one of my movies. 
and logo and text. Made my own menu up here, help about view full screen, file, print, exit. That's not, that's not the same as the default flash um, EXE menu built in. You can edit that stuff in, in um, Resource Hacker. Just go through all this stuff. It might take you some time. I think it's got different language stuff in here as well. Just work it out. Just play with it and work it out. And you just you save as, um, just name it something else. You want to name it something else like dude. And you want to type .exe. Otherwise, it's just going to be your file called dude. It would be unopenable. You need to actually add .exe into it. So just do it here. Just do .exe. And there we go. Dude.exe. I didn't edit that, but yeah, you get the idea. Okay. Um, uh, what else was I going to do? Resource Hacker. Click my logo gen and show what logo gen was going to do. Fog channel for hex edit. I think I've done what I was going to show. There's three files I was going to show. But, um,. Yeah, look, I can see I've, I've, this is pretty old. Um, my two, August 2015 is when I made my last logo gen version. Three three years ago. I, I want to add to it. I just haven't got around to it. Um, oh, that's what I was gonna. I was gonna show. I forgot. Yeah, that's, right, we'll do boss. Watch this. Now, since I've done things on Flash, I'll leave Resource Hacker open. Um, Let's go to Swish Max. Let's make a transparent GMP, PNG. Let's modify. We'll just make it 100 by 100. We'll just make something really simple. We'll make it 80 by 80. We'll just do a gradient, circular gradient. We'll make it the other way around, actually. <clears throat> Alright, uh, no, we won't. We'll do white and green. Yeah, I'll just do some text. Blah, 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 blah. TSB, just random letters. We won't put it in the dead center, just dodge it. And modify movie properties, export. PNG. Now, export transfer. Forget that. Ex good. Export transparency is turned on. So, all this white background. Now, if I've got the background tint, it's actually black, but it's set to alpha zero. If I do alpha 100, whoops, it will go black and it won't be transparent. But if this is at zero, it counts as a transparency and it will export the transparency you'll only you'll only see the circle and the content within the, all this white space you won't see so let's export as png test I'll just give it a minute to it takes a while to export <clears throat> while we do that I'll load up a web page uh, png to ico whoops not pong to ico png to ico ico convert there we go this this website will do there's plenty of websites you can do this stuff. All right. We'll turn it into an icon file, a PNG, with its transparency. Providing this website does that. Let's close that. Now, there we go. As you can see, the PNG, it's got a, it's a circle with TSB, and it's got a, you can see through the transparent background. Okay, so let's just name it proper test. There we go. All right, let's file desktop T for test. There we go, test. Ico convert. How's this website? I don't, I don't think I've used this website before. Convert Ico, I think. Download your icon. There we go. Now I've just made an icon file just through a website. Test two. Okay, so resource hacker. Let's take boss. Bottom my boss fight. 
Command C, let's open it up. Alright. So let's stick boss in there. Now look at the icon, it's got a standard flash icon. These are icon here. Um, you just grab one of them, it doesn't matter which one. Right click, replace resource. Uh, open file, desktop, let's see, TA. Test 2 icon. Replace. Okay, I don't know why that's not working. It should work. What is wrong there? Let's try that again. No, it's working. I don't know. It's, I've got I got some error. I've never got an error doing that before. And it's taking me to icon group for some reason. It seems to have worked. Seems to have worked. I don't know what the fuck happened there. That was weird. It hasn't replaced... Alright, I think it's worked. It's got some weird memory thing. I don't know what the fuck's happened there. Alright, let's try it anyway. But that's how you do it. You just replace with an icon file. That's real strange. Let's say test three dot exe. There we go. Click it and it opens. We've changed the icon from this boss icon, changed the name in the icon to this green ball with TSB. And that's how you can change an icon. You can change all kinds of other stuff with Resource Hacker. I wouldn't even consult, consider this a hack. It's more of a crack than anything. Technically a crack, I would call it. Um, you're, edit, you're editing, you're not hacking, you're editing. You're actually doing something, you're not vandalizing anything. You know, you're editing your own code. Um, so there we go. Make your own icons for your own Flash EXEs. You just quickly make them, you can make them in Flash. And just convert it to an icon online. And whatever the hell happened with that error, I've never seen that happen before, and I don't know what happened, but it seems to have worked. Everything works, as you can see, just fine. All I've just changed is... All I've changed is the icon. But I haven't modified, you know, I can modify, just like the logo gen, I can modify the menu, get rid of that menu, or, or change it into something else. There's actually no... There's no file, there should be a file menu somewhere. I can't remember how to access it. I think, I'm pretty sure there's a file menu you can open. Anyway, you get the idea. There's just a few tools you can uh, use. So, look up, try and try and make yourself resource hacker. Resource hacker. There you go, the about section, resource hacker. Uh, hex edit. find out get this stuff yourself find out however you can get it and bulk file changer help it out just some handy tools you can use obviously I have a hacks folder there and you're not going to know what's in that <laughs> or any of the other security stuff VPN oh, those things exist on my desktop for a reason anyway that's it. I just thought I'd cover those few topics to show you some cool stuff to do if you want to try it out alright I'm done